I'm Cassie Sacher, the senior librarian at Leovet College, and I'd like to share with you something inspiring from the library. Grassroots social justice movements have not only grabbed headlines in recent years, but are starting to have a real impact on society. Extinction Rebellion, Black Lives Matter and the Me Too movement have harnessed social media and galvanised people of all ages to effect change and ensure everyone has a voice. Many institutions are reviewing their policies and practices to ensure they are genuinely and actively inclusive and non-discriminatory, not least of all within the Jewish community. For example, in Britain, the Board of Deputies Commission on Racial Inclusivity in the Jewish Community. Nowhere is the diversity of voice and view more important than in education. Who teaches us, who they quote, the sources they bring can inspire change or confirm casual prejudice and privilege. Institutions around the world are reviewing their curricula and libraries are diversifying their holdings. Familiar to many who study Jewish texts will be the source sheet, those bundles of A4 paper that trace an idea through thousands of years of Jewish literature through quotes and extracts. The rabbinic voice they present can be overwhelmingly male. And in response, a group of American Jewish educators have devised the Kranjek test, which posits that a source sheet with more than two sources must include at least one non-male identified voice. To support their endeavour, they initiated a book list of women writers, and I felt a gauntlet had been thrown down to the library. Are these books on our shelves? Are these voices heard here? They are, and more. Well-known figures like Nechama Leibowitz, who introduced so many to the commentary of the sages through her weekly study sheets, or Aviva Zornberg, who looks at Torah through a literary and psychological lens, sit alongside studies by historian Talilan, editor of the feminist Talmud commentary, and incisive commentaries and sermons by Sheila Shulman, radical feminist, rabbi and teacher. In the library collections, we have not only voices from the Bet Midrash or American Jewish history, but voices from the academy, from the pulpit and from Britain. The book list revealed some exciting texts and writers new to the library. For example, Dir Shuni, a new collection of Midrash, narrative textual interpretation from women in Israel. Rabbi Jill Hammer's new translation of the mystical text, Sefer Yitzirah, the Book of Creation, and Pirkei Imaot, a collection of new interpretations and additions to the rabbinic text, Ethics of the Fathers. And more voices are emerging from the Society of Biblical Literature series, The Bible and Women, an encyclopedia of exegesis and cultural history, to Joy Layden's exploration of Torah from a transgender perspective. I am hopeful it will get easier and easier to meet the Krenjek test and ensure the rich voices from every part of Jewish tradition continue to be heard, celebrated and debated in the Leobet College Library.